Michelle and I have come to Animal Kingdom and we're just gonna figure out what the heck we wanna do. We got here a little late, but we're gonna have fun anyway. And we're on our way into the Animal Kingdom and actually see all those people in purple up there. That's actually my band kids. I'm here with my band. We're having a little bit of fun. We're gonna be performing in Disney Springs tomorrow and we just got in today after driving all the way down from Philadelphia on a bus and we're about to check in here at Animal Kingdom and just see what we can do. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. We have until eight o'clock. See what we can get done. One of my favorite parts of my entrance into Animal Kingdom, the first viewings of the Tree of Life. Ah. How nice. So Michelle here is really wanting a Passover Spirit jersey. And one of the only places you can get it is the Island Mercantile or Riverside Depot here in Discovery Island for shopping. We're gonna check and see if it's there. We're hoping it's there because I know Michelle really wants that jersey. So Michelle and I have our good friend John Paul with us. Right there. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> John Paul and Michelle both need a little caffeine from our adventure. And uh, so we're gonna head over to Creature Comforts and get them some. Here's Creature Comforts. It's there to the left here. Once you come in and discover it, you just head to the left and it is the hidden Starbucks location. But it is one of the best themed Starbucks. I mean, look at this room. This is just incredible. I love it in here. Starbucks achieved. We have decided we are going to brave the 60 minute line in Everest to have it be our first ride today. And John Paul's excited because he's never been on it. While we're on our way to Everest, I do want to say that if you see these blue umbrellas, these are guest experience team members and the guest experience team members are going to be there to help you if you have any issues with your tickets or any of the rides or anything like that. So make sure you check out the guest experience team if you have anything you need help with. One of my favorite little Disney Easter eggs is this temple right here. If you get up to that temple, you start following a little bit closer. Oh, you see it, you see it, you see it? Oh, it's a mimic of the mountains behind it. I think that's a really cool little detail that they added in there. So as you can see, we're getting into Everest. Currently says 60 minutes. It is one of the lower weights today. It is right before Easter. So it is going to be a little bit busy today. And we're gonna see how this line goes. 60 minutes shouldn't be too bad. So John Paul is one of my oldest friends from college and uh, we did March Junk Corps sort of together. Sort of. Sort of together. And uh, we're here to, uh, we're here to, he's never been on Everest. Nope. Do you know about the backwards? No. It goes backwards. Sweet. <laughs> here we go. All right. Just a little line update. We are at 51 minutes and we actually stood outside for a really long time. Again. I'm gonna point out just the great theming. This is supposed to be like a Sherpa supply. It has their wool socks hanging to dry and it has their camping food supplies. But we're about to enter into the museum. Once you get into the museum, you're almost to the front of the line, but we are at 51 minutes. It did say 60. My guess is gonna be 70 to 75. So we've made it into like the sorting space. It took us 62 minutes to get here. My guess is it's gonna take us another five minutes to make it around and out the door. So, 70 minutes. 70 minutes? Yeah, 70 minutes. Yeah, probably about 70 minutes. But we love this ride though. Love that ride, love that ride. So much fun. We're gonna try to figure out 
what to do next. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Satuli Canteen and get our dinner a little early because it's good to eat at off hours when it's so busy. So, what'd you think of uh, Expedition Everest? I thought it was good. It uh, started off slow and much longer duration for the slow part than I thought, but that kind of made the, the fast part that much better. Yeah, I love that ride. One of the things I want to point out right now is just how busy Anima Kingdom is. Like I said, it's right before Easter. Last week they had some low crowds, but that seems to have gone away, and they're doing a really good job right now of doing flow. There's some cast members. I don't know if I can zoom in on them. I don't think I can, but there's some cast members out there right now with signs telling people, you can see it right there in the center, right there in the center. That's a sign telling people what way they need to flow the crowd left or right. So that's how busy it is in here. And you can just see there's just seas of people. Hopefully uh, we won't have this at every park, but I have a feeling we will. It's okay. Dealing with crowds is a fun thing too. One of the post-closure things that I really like that they kept are these flotillas. This flotilla has Nico and Pocahontas on it and they're coming down the river. They have a whole bunch of them. They have Donald and Mickey, and they have uh, drummers. Happy and it's really just nice to see these flotillas didn't go away. over here by Tiffin's and the Nomad Lounge. By the way, one of my favorite places to get a drink is this bridge. And once you cross this bridge, you transition from Earth to Pandora. And the cool thing is, is that the soundscape changes. Right now you can hear, hopefully you can hear, the African music kind of playing in the background, the, 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 the very rhythmic sounds. And then as you cross over the bridge, it'll change to something else because it's supposed to be you going from Discovery Island to the world of Pandora. And hopefully you can hear our insectoid friends that have suddenly joined us as we walked into Pandora. You are now on another planet. Crazy. And we have come to Satuli Canteen. You can see Pongo Pongu, which means party party in Navi. Over here, you can get that great Hawkscrog Ale and the hot Moara High Country Ale, but over here to my right is Satuli Canteen. We're going to head in, and due to the circumstances of us being here, we cannot mobile order today, so we're gonna be actually using the regular checkout order. As you can see, we're here inside to order our food. This is supposed to look like an old RDA mess hall. In fact, it's the one from the first Avatar movie, and Absolutely, thank you. Um, as you can see, we have the menu here. You have protein bowls, and you also have this ocean moon bowl, which is their specialty one right now. You create your own satuli bowls. You have select your protein, you select your base, you select your sauce. I really like the noodles, and I also like the creamy herb dressing. Michelle likes the green onion vinaigrette, I believe, if I remember correctly, no? Nope, she likes the creamy herb dressing. She also likes the creamy herb dressing, but the charred green onion vinaigrette is also really, really good. But we're gonna come in here and we're gonna order our food and then we'll talk about it. So you can see Michelle and John Paul ordering there at the counter. I have already placed my order and I am going to pick it up here at this counter once it's ready and the cast members will bring it out to you. They'll call your name and everything like that. One of the things to note about a meal here in Pandora is that you have, you will get real silverware. You will also get cups without lids and no straws and real plates when you eat here in Pandora because it's all about conservation here in Animal Kingdom. So here is what I got. I got the combination bowl with smoked chimichurri braised beef and wood grilled chicken. That is on top of the base of noodles and it also comes with coleslaw and the boba pearls. I also ordered cheeseburger pods. This came as a complete meal with coleslaw and chips. Cheeseburger pods are one of my favorite things here in Animal Kingdom. And the final thing I ordered here is the blueberry cream cheese mousse. This is blueberry cream cheese mousse with a passion fruit curd. And I have a nice unsweetened iced tea to wash it down. This is how you know this is my favorite thing. 
This is the first thing I'm eating. I picked it right up and I'm like, cheeseburger pod. Oh, do I love these things. So after a successful meal at Satuli Canteen, do you like it? What's that? Satuli Canteen? Yes. Yeah. Good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I love Satuli Canteen. Great food. We're, We're going to actually go over to the safari because it says it only has a 35 minute wait and it's the perfect time of day to go because it's cool and the lions might be out, which would be awesome. Just FYI, we are taking the secret bridge from Pandora to Africa. This is actually the way I prefer to go because it's usually less traveled and it's actually kind of pretty back here. I mean, look at this. This is really nice. And also the flotilla boats come right down that river right there. So if you're out here, you might catch a nice flotilla with the characters on it. One of the things I do want to point out, however, right now is that it is now 510. Earlier today, I showed you images of how packed this park is. I'm just gonna kind of zoom in over here on the bridge and the bridge area in Africa. That is not the sea of people that we had before. And as you saw over here, there is not a lot of people over here either. A lot of people have park hopped out of this park. So if you stick it out here, you can probably get on everything you wanna do. We have made our way over to the Kilimanjaro Safari. 35 minute wait, that's, gonna, that's kinda awesome. I am going to say that 35 minutes is probably not 35 minutes because we are just now getting to the line of people and the sorting area is literally down, down there at the end of this walkway. So this is not a 35 minute wait. One of the things I will tell you, our favorite row is the last row. You get the best view of the safari from the back row of the safari vehicle. You can request it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, this, this was a walk on, absolute walk on. We're about to just go on. We're gonna ask to get that last row though. All the hippos. That is the group name for hippos. Like I said, they do spend a much We are giving them plenty of space in the right of way. So when they do decide that their favorite place in the whole entire world is right on the road, we kind of don't have anything to do but sit here and wait for them to move. <laughs> now, of course, the elephants we are going to be seeing will be African elephants. Five miles per hour. And they also can get now cheetahs are the world's fastest running land mammals, although they can really only maintain that speed for a short amount of time. An African lion. Actually, looks like there are two of them. Looks like we got a little pride taking a nap out on these Kobe rocks. Now, speaking of sleeping, lions do sleep for about 16 to 20 hours every single day. We've picked up some friends and we're heading over to Dinosaur. I think this is gonna be the last thing we do today. We're gonna head over to Dinosaur, which is a great ride in the dark, but it can scare small children like this one. <laughs> this sign is here for a reason. One of the things that I really love about the queue for Dinosaur is that these are actually, some of them are museum quality pieces of actual fossils, not just recreations. And there's cases and cases of them. We're gonna time travel and bring home all the dinosaurs. It only took us 10 minutes. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! But at least this one's a vegetarian. 
That's it. Abort mission. Abort. Abort. Iguanodon. Forget it. Get them out now. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. Mission accomplished. You made it. I knew you would. And guess who made it back with you? I know, it always seems that we're not gonna make it on that ride, but we always seem to make it back. I love that ride, it's so much fun. It's got really good, like, hydro the, the hydraulics work really well to make it believable. I wish it wasn't so much just dark. That's kind of my problem with it. I wish it had a little bit more, because I do like Indiana Jones at Disneyland better, which is more visual, more track, more everything. But it's pretty much the same ride I just wish it was more like Indiana Jones. And it might be ending up becoming more like Indiana Jones. So, kind of looking forward to that. We're probably gonna be finishing our day shortly, heading over to the Tree of Life to kind of wind it down. See you there. Well, there you go. There's our day at Animal Kingdom. After a long bus ride and herding cats, I mean, band students, <laughs> we've had a great day. We didn't do much because we weren't here for very long, but had a great meal, rode some great rides, just had some fun. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you comment down below something you do on a short day to Animal Kingdom. And like we always say, we don't like to say goodbye because we're gonna see you real soon. So we say, see you bye.